Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey what's up? My name is Caitlin and today we're going to be doing my Ipsy unbagging for the month of February. I know this is super late, but like you guys already know, it's hard for me to film during the nighttime when I'm off work and I rely on light. So I am filming on my lunch break right now. So I might have to do that here going forward. But this is what the bag this month looks like. It's super cute. It's definitely Valentine's Day themed. It's got the kisses all over it. I did get this last week, so I know it is going up pretty late in the month, but I have had it for about a week, so I'm sorry. Again, I'm trying, <laughs> but once once this um, winter that seems to last forever in Iowa is over, I should be able to start posting on a regular, fairly regular basis because it won't be dark when I get home. So with that being said, Ipsy is a $10 a month subscription service if you didn't know already. You get four to five, even sometimes six, sample to the lux, even sometimes full size products. And it comes in a cute bag every month, which this is this month's bag. So the first product that I'm gonna talk about, oh, I am actually doing this video a little bit differently too. I already talked about this in my BoxyCharm video, but normally I try on the products as I go and let you guys see like me trying them on. This month, I just went ahead and already put them on and then we're gonna talk about them as we go, like whether they're on my face, but let me know down below if you guys like that, if you want me to continue to do it this way, or if you want me to go back to trying them on as I go, or if you just want me to be surprised and unbox them with you. Let me know down below what you guys think. First product is actually something that did not fit in my box. It's this cute brush. It's by Farah, Farah. I think it's Farah. That's F-A-R-A-H. And it is the 50F brush. It's super cute. Um, it did come with like this, uh, netting around the bristles and then in a plastic container as well so it was super hygienic in there um this netting is fun to play with but i really like this it's nice it's super soft it's big it gets right into the blush like the blush i have on today is this tart one this is a mini blush but it fits in there so i like that because i don't like a blush that's super huge that i have to like maneuver in the pan so this was like the perfect size. It's so, so unbelievably soft and it's cute. I like it. It'll be cute in my display of brushes right here, which I need to get another one because like some of my brushes are dirty right now and it's still this full. And these are just my face brushes. My eye brushes are over here. They don't look as bad right now because I do have a lot of them missing because they're dirty and laying in front of me, but both of them are very full mostly because of Ipsy, <laughs> because I get a lot of brushes, which I love. So moving on to what's actually in the bag this month, I have one product that I have not tried yet. This is the Feel Renewed Pumpkin Walnut Facial Cleanser. It's like this. Oh, I forgot Ipsy has a card now. Let me grab that. This is the card, which is super exciting. Um, it says swoon so hard, hashtag XOXO Ipsy, which has this. And now they actually list the products that you get in the back, which I thought was so great. It still doesn't have the, um, prices, but it gives you a little bit of information on them. So that's this card. This is a Feel Renewed Renewed Pumpkin Walnut Facial Cleanser. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but you can actually smell it through here. Like there is a seal on it, but you can still smell it. It definitely, definitely smells like pumpkin. So I'm excited about this. This is something that I probably would have preferred to get in like the fall when pumpkin's out, but I'm still excited. It's Deep Skin Treatment Gentle Exfoliation. So I will definitely try this and let you guys know. I don't know if it's cruelty free or not. Um, of course, everything will be listed down below. I know the brush is and everything else is. This is the only thing I'm not sure about in this box this month because it does not say on it, but I will definitely look that up for you guys. It says wet skin and massage the facial cleanser over face in circular motions. Massage deeply for three to five minutes until a rich leather has formed, then wash off thoroughly dry skin. So exciting about that about that. I don't know words. The next thing is this guy. This is the Hanali um, lip treatment in the shade peach pink. I am wearing it. Um, I actually like it. Like I like the way it looks. Usually lip treatments are something that I like want to wear at night but because this one has a slight color to it and a very nice shine I actually don't mind wearing it right now. I think it's pretty. It doesn't go super well with the eye look but it is pretty and it feels really nice. Um, my lips are very, very dry, like all the time, and this feels very nourishing. So I do really, really like this. It is a little baby guy, but um, the only dis thing I dislike about it is the packaging. Like I have used it and it's kind of dirty. Like the product kind of comes out all over the tube. So I don't love that. 
and then you can see like that it's already on the outside too from me having to use my finger i would love this if i had like a wand or an applicator of some sort but that's just me being picky at this point also this is a sample size so the full size might i don't know but again everything will be linked down below but i do like that next product i have already used this but i put it back in the packaging just for i don't know just so you can see what it came like it came in this bubble wrap and then this is the packaging this is the seraphine botanicals natural radiance booster in daisy and per pearl excuse me hiccups um i really like the packaging it's super cute it's vegan cruelty free gmo free opening it up you have this little plastic like piece right here that you have to pull out to actually get the product out i think this is a full size i might be wrong on that but i'm pretty sure and then opening this up you do get a mirror in here which is super handy and the actual product itself so i'm not wearing this on my face i'm actually wearing this on the inner corner of my eyes and on the brow bone i'm gonna be honest i don't love this like i will swatch it for you guys it swatches nicely like it's right there but using it with a brush is very difficult it doesn't like how do I explain that? It doesn't really show up. <laughs> Let me take a brush here. Do I have a clean? Yes. I'm going to use this little highlighter brush and I'm going to put some on my Cupid's bow just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So there's definitely product on the brush. Like you see, I feel like I have to like, oh, I just got my treatment on there. I feel like I have to like build it. And then there's something, but put some on the chin as well. Like you just definitely have to like go in hardcore with this. Like I wound up for my inner corner, I wound up using two different brushes and my finger and wetted both of the brushes before I finally got at least something there. So it is pretty. It's just super, super subtle. If you're gonna use your finger with this, that's great. It'll look really pretty. But if you're somebody like me who uses a brush for most of your applications, I don't love this, just being honest. So sorry about that. Last product is this guy. This is by The Bomb. This is the Alternative Rock Volume 1 Shadow Fard. Yeah, Shadow Fard. Um, and Pink Fluorite. I don't know any of these words. Um, hit song, chances of, oh, that's a different language. Okay, it's in the shade Take It For Granite. So it is like a purpley granite color. It is really pretty. I'll swatch this for you too. Right there, that little subtle like purple gray color. It is what I'm wearing mostly on the lid right now. I really, really like this. I did use this with a brush, like a soft brush, not like a packer brush. And it turned out really well. I like it a lot. Um, single eye shadows are something that I usually am like whatever about. I don't get excited about them because I usually reach for palettes. But this is one that I am excited about and I might continue to use. I at least hope I do because it's really pretty and I like it. This is actually a like mini shadow that's from a palette. So I will probably link the palette down below. But I like this. So quick recap. I really like the eyeshadow. It works really pretty. Or works really pretty. It works really well and looks really pretty. I don't know how to speak, <laughs> but I like this a lot. It was really pretty. The highlighter, I'm not super excited about. It's kind of whatever. Um, I might use it as like an eyeshadow and put it on my finger. That might be pretty, but it's whatever. The brush, I really like. It's super soft, super pretty. It's gonna look cute in my brush collection. The, whatever this is, what is this called? A cleanser, I don't know about yet. I do need to try this and keep you guys updated. And I really like the lip treatment, so. That's everything I got this month. You guys will have to let me know down below what you got. And please don't forget to let me know if you want me to continue to do my videos like this or if you want me to go back or just try them. Or not try them, but like be surprised with you and not open them until on camera. Let me know which way you want to see them because I'm very curious to know which videos you prefer to watch. Um, yeah, and don't forget to like this video before you go and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next unboxings. Bye guys.